Hello students, I taught you in the last class all about simple present tense. I mean simple present tense and its form, the use of simple present tense, the keywords that we use in simple present tense that are common frequency expressions and making sentences. How to make sentences in simple present also we talked about. Right. So that are affirmative sentences. Affirmatives are nothing but positive and negative sentences, interrogative sentences and negative interrogative sentences main questions. Right. In this class I am going to teach you the present continuous tense. Here the present continuous tense. Continuous is here. What is meant for continuous? We can also call it progressive. The present progressive tense. We can also use the word, we can also use the word called progressive. Progressive. So we can also say that present progressive tense. Present progressive tense. In this class, in present progressive tense, so we are going to look at form of present continuous tense and use of present continuous tense and what keywords we use, what keywords that indicate present continuous tense and difference between simple present tense and present continuous. SP is here, simple present tense and present continuous and making sentences, it's like simple present tense. Making sentences, affirmative, negative, interrogative, negative interrogative, main questions. And finally, we are going to look at exam related questions. What? Exam related questions. Now, let us look at uh, here. Let us look at the form of first, the form of present continuous tense. Okay, the form is here subject plus B forms. In B forms, in present continuous, we use three. What are they here? Am, is, are. So, B forms plus first form of a verb. First form of a verb plus Inform. We can also call it as present participle and we, we say that sometimes V4, right? Present participle. So, plus object. Now, once we call this, once we call the structure, uh, we call the form subject V form. V forms are nothing but am, is, are. First form of a verb plus inform plus object. For example, if I say that like, so when I add inform, like in, right? Sing. If I add inform, singing, singing, like that. So the verb, first form of a verb plus inform. This is a first form. Sing is a first form. For example, go. First form, I can add here inform. Going, right? Going. So now we have here V forms. And is on, right? Let us look at. So here, what is subject here? First person, I will I, V. And second person, you. And the third person, he, she, it, they. So any name, any name, person, place, whatever it might be, they come under third person. Right. So I and I always, see here, am is always, am always goes with I, I am. So, R always goes with U, right? V, V. And here R always goes, R, right, go. So, R always goes with, go with V, U and they, they, right? And is always go with he, she, it, is. So now I can say that I can give any word like for example first form right 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 so I am right I am writing so what do we call I am writing first form of a verb plus in form what is it I am writing so we are writing right you are writing so he is writing she is writing it is raining raining here it is a neutral gender we can say that it is it is raining 
they are they are writing for example we can take any other word here so i am going i am going to market we are going to market you are going to market he is going to market she is going to market it is raining here every day it is raining here every day they are going to market so we can take any other verb also called for example play play scene right playing so we can also i am playing cricket we are playing cricket you are playing cricket he is playing cricket she is playing cricket it is right it is uh, it is it's raining here it's raining here they are they are playing cricket so it's barking so there are many example we can give with it right it's raining here the rain is barking something we can give they are playing so here so going right we can write all the sentences in present continuous in this way so now let us see what is the first person so i he second person you third person he she it and they so i have given the verbs also right so writing going so here any playing singing so you can use any other verb right any any other verb in in form any other base form plus in form right so any other base form to so the base form or first form of a verb we are in form right so this is so i am is i am always go with i in present continuous tense r e r always go r always go with v u they in continuous tense is always goes with he she it when the third person is singular we use is for example ramu playing chess ramu right playing chess ragu he is watching tv ramu is playing chess ragu is watching tv so we can use such examples in the third person singular right okay now let us look at the use of present continuous tense here i am going to give you three usages in present continuous three usages so for example actually uh, in simple present tense where, where do we use simple present tense simple present tense is used to indicate habitual actions or regular activities and facts and permanent situations and stative verbs proverbs to indicate a future event we use simple present then where do we use present continuous tense we use present we use especially uh, present continuous tense is used in three situations what are they we will see here for example now now and temporary 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 right so we use it in temporary situation temporary and to indicate future event so we use now temporary future so here in the first use is to denote an action going on at the time of speaking that means at the moment at present so whatever we do at the moment for example what am i doing here i am teaching present continuous tense now i am doing i am teaching present continuous tense right what are you doing so you are listening to my class what are you doing you are listening to my class okay so you are listening to my class that means to denote an action going on at the time of speaking so we use present continuous tense for example we are watching tv we are watching tv are watching we are watching tv so one more example also i can give for example right you are you are listening listening to my class you are listening to my class or listening right or watching i am playing now i am playing now i am playing 
so he is he is he is writing he is writing his own work here he is writing and playing or watching or listening so the the activities what are the activities they are doing here so they they are have they are happening at the time of speaking that means to denote an action to denote an action going on at the time of speaking we use present continuous tense now let us look at temporary situation temporary so what temporary for example for example here we, we can say that we are we are living we are residing instead of living we can do it residing right so instead of living we can use residing we are residing uh, at the hotel at, at the hotel so instead of residing we also we can say we are staying stay so when do you stay at hotel so when you go for a weekend so when you go for a, a vacation you just take the room for temporary and you stay there for a maybe a couple of days a couple of weeks maybe so whatever the, it's it's based on your requirement we are staying at hotel right so we are staying at hotel so for example we are living in uh, chintamani so we are living also we can say a temporary you came to chintamani and you want to live here for a some some period of time right so for example if i say that we live in chintamani we live in chintamani if i say that we live in chintamani so live here it talks about permanent situation so that is simple present tense what it is it is simple present tense so that's why there are temporary situations permanent situation so when do you stay at hotel when you go for when you go for a trip when you go for a vacation you stay at hotel right we are staying at hotel we are staying at hotel so whereas when do you use for example uh, chintamani is your residence so you are living here so that means here we live in chintamani that's your permanent 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 place so here when we talk about permanent place permanent situation we use simple present tense and when we talk about temporary activities temporary activities what do we do so we use present continuous tense present continuous tense for example here future you like let us go to future now the third you said is future future so first one at the time of speaking so some activity some action some activity which is going on at the time of speaking we use present continuous when you talk about temporary actions you use present continuous when you talk about future planned or arranged activity you use for example you use uh, present continuous tense for example we are we are planning planning to go to picnic we are planning to go to picnic so our planning it talks about future so you are planning so you have a plan to go to picnic so that you are checking the arrangements and you are you are making some schedule to go to picnic so we are planning to go to picnic so it's about future we talk about future activity so when we talk about future in present we can talk about future in present continuous tense for example uh, i am leaving for delhi next week so you are leaving for delhi next week you are leaving so you are, you are going to leave this place and going to delhi so so here actually we are leaving for delhi right so here that's next week next week so we can use a future planned arranged activity scheduled activity we use present continuous right so what are the three uses the action or activity some actions that we present are going at the time of speaking we use present continuous tense when we talk about right temporary situations we use present continuous 
when we talk about future events so we use present continuous tense right so i you understood right temporary and permanent activity so in the last in the last class in simple present tense i talked about stative verbs right stative verbs so we will see that point before seeing this point let us uh, let us uh, identify the keywords which we use in present continuous tense now keywords keywords in uh, present continuous tense so now at the moment at the moment at present at present now at the moment at present so there are some phrases with imperative phrases something like hey, don't disturb don't disturb don't disturb so some phrases like we use in present continuous let us see let me give you one one word on each i am writing a book now so i am doing what i am doing at present i am writing a book now so for example right so here right so at present so what do you say they are playing cricket at present right they are watching movie at this moment at this this or that the moment don't disturb don't disturb don't disturb he is studying what is he doing here he is studying so don't disturb him so you are giving a caution in this phrase and what is you are talking about is temporary activity what he is doing we talk about don't disturb he is studying such phrases we use them in present continuous tense so now the, uh, the right so until now we have seen present continuous the form of present continuous the use of present continuous tense and the keywords that we use in present continuous tense now let us go to difference between simple present and present continuous now we are going to look at okay so when we look at the difference between simple present tense and present continuous first i have given one point here temporary situations right in temporary we use present continuous tense to talk about temporary situations and permanent situations we use them in simple present tense what is the form of simple present tense here subject plus first form of a verb yes sir yes plus object right so here uh, when we talk about permanent 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 situations situations we use simple present for example we live in we live in sir we live in chintamani we live in chintamani so here present continuous temporary temporary situation temporary situations i may say that we are staying we are staying in chintamani we are staying in chintamani so are staying here we live so there is a difference this is a temporary situation and this is what we call this verb it talks about permanent situation so here uh, this is first point number 1 in simple present tense and uh, present continuous right so now here this is simple present tense right simple present simple present temporary situation present continuous the form is here so now now when it comes to the second uses right so actually here we use present continuous to talk about some activity or action right some activity or action so now for example here for example uh, there are two there are some verbs in english which we should not use them in present continuous tense for example if i say that i am hearing you can we say that i am hearing you no we should not say that i am listening to you we can say so whereas i am hearing you we cannot say why we cannot say they are called they talked about some state that's why uh, in the last class i gave you a point called stative verbs right stative verbs state 
which means stative verbs stative verbs for example here here h e r here so here is here when right? it's related to state some condition some cognition right it's related to some perception so when we talk about states when we talk about the condition so we should not use them in present continuous so that's why here for example i am hearing you it's a wrong we should not use them in present continuous tense so in which tense we have to use we have to use in i hear you simple present tense this is simple present tense this is well we should not use it this is a this is called state there are some stative verbs which we should not use them in uh, we should not use them in simple present continuous tense now let us look at those verbs okay stative verbs there are some stative verbs which are related to perception perception means the way you perceive for example when you see when you see scenery so you feel that it is beautiful right how you, your perception is that scenery is beautiful so here perception is that way, right so the condition the state of your mind so when you talk about the state of your mind we should not use in present continuous those verbs for example see i am seeing you right i am seeing the i am seeing scenery you should not say i see i right i look at the scenery i for example see i i am seeing you we should not say that i am seeing you i see you i see you i hear you right i hear you so so uh, biryani tastes good we should not say that the biryani is tasting good right the biryani is tasting delicious we should we say that the biryani is the biryani tastes taste taste good but we should not say that the biryani is tasting delicious taste touch right so these verbs we should not use them in we should not use them in present continuous for example here i write example right uh, so here the example is here the biryani is tasting delicious so we should not use in present continuous it's wrong what is the right answer here the biryani is the biryani taste the biryani tastes good the biryani tastes delicious so we can say that we can say the biryani tastes delicious so here so when we talk about the perception we use only simple present tense not in present continuous right we should not use in present continuous only we have to use them in simple present tense i, I repeated the point again and again because you you will get confused over here when you talk about we should not use them in present continuous only you have to use the tense called simple present tense now next one now appearance there are some words which related to appearance appearance a verbs related to appearance for example look resemble seem okay appear there are some verbs like this look resemble seem appear but we say always we say that it seems good but we should not say it is seeming good right at the same time resemble she is resembling her sister we should not say in present continuous so what we have to say she resembles her sister they both are alike in that sense we use resemble resemble is what here right resemble look right appear so seem so all these we should not use them in we should not use them in present continuous tense in which tense we have to use we have to use them in simple present tense and next one 
there are some verbs which are related to emotions there are some verbs which are related to emotions for example like love hope wish right so there are many verbs like this i give you the list uh, so verb like love hope wish so right so these what these verbs indicates emotions for example if if you can say that i like coffee because it's your that that is your state of mind so do you like coffee if i ask you i like coffee but we don't say that i am liking coffee why because so that is it's related to state state verbs right it's state it's it's related to our the condition of our mind our perception so now here like is wait i like coffee i like coffee so i like coffee here so it's your state of mind it indicates so we should not say we should not say that i am i am liking and liking coffee this is wrong right so now for example love when you take i love my father i love my father so the feeling right love towards your father is eternal it's forever so when we talk about such feelings such emotion so we have to use it in simple present tense but we should not say that in right present continuous for example if i say i am loving my father if you say that like that you love your father right at the time of speaking that means temporary so tomorrow you don't love you didn't love yesterday right so when we question so i i love my father it's a feel it's forever right so now here that's what only we have to use it in simple present tense but we should not use it present continuous tense right so here perception right appearance emotions okay so now here so the uh, the next point is thinking thinking so verbs related to thinking for example think agree consider suppose these there are some verbs these verbs also we should not use them in we should not use them in present continuous tense for example we should not say i am thinking about you i think of you or i think about you i think of you we can say that so i am agreeing you should not say that i agree with you i am agreeing with you so it's actually it's related to the state of your mind right i agree with you so here i suppose so i am i consider i consider it's my fault but you should not say that i am considering it is my fault so you can say that i consider so here these are these verbs also should not be used in shouldn't be used in which term present continuous this verb should be used in simple present tense okay now you can see here right thinking the last one is position p o s s i o n s s i o n position the verbs of position there are some verbs have and o own belong so all these verbs are they indicates position so here i belong to so and so place but we should not say that i am belonging you should not say that i am belonging right so i am belonging so you can say that belong right i have she is having a car we should not say she has a car what do what do we have to say she has a car so you know he owns an apartment he owns an apartment we should not say that he, he is owning an apartment we should not say so he belongs to for example he belongs to karnataka he should not say that he belong he is belonging to karnataka so here position so these verbs also we should not use them in present continuous tense right let us let let's see here until now we have finished a form of present continuous and use of present continuous keywords of present continuous difference between simple present tense and 
present continuous make uh, right until now we have seen the difference difference and its uses we have seen up to now right so making sentences exam related questions in present continuous exam related questions in uh, in uh, simple present tense we will see in the next class right so you you follow these uh, you follow the points right what points we have discussed here related state verbs verbs of perception verbs of appearance second point verbs of appearance verbs of emotions verbs of thinking and verbs of position right these are the verbs right we use verb whenever these verbs comes come in right in present continuous they are wrong so you should use them only in simple present tense thank you thank you have a nice day